Hello again, and welcome aboard my office in Wilhelmshaven, but soon to be welcome back aboard the magnificent German submarine U-46, with your Captain Lieutenant Zoysi Hans Kartoffel. We have a new patrol with new mods. It should be wonderful. I haven't made any changes in configuration to the boat. Uh, we don't have side emblems available at this time. I'm not sure what's up with that, but... New whatever. Uh, since we have no available upgrades in the form of equipment, deck gun, flat gun, we could actually upgrade the hydrophone. And let's see. Improved performance. Extreme vulnerability to damage from depth charges. I think that's a risk I'm willing to take for a better hydrophone with better coverage. So, yeah, let's upgrade that to the KDB. Apart from that, in torpedoes, I am going to be once again carrying a full complement of Type 1 G7A torpedoes. Since they are, especially at this point in the war, more reliable, they're faster, and, you know, longer range, more options as far as that sort of thing goes. But, uh, in accordance with the radio message we received, and indeed our experience in battle, we won't be using the magnetic pistols on them for so long as that is possible. And the only other thing of note is to have a look at our little tree here. Because I am deciding what to do about the future of this career, and I'm certainly welcome... I'm certainly welcoming to input on that subject because we currently possess a Type 7B U-boat and because of the changes I have made in mods, which I will explain once we're underway, I would like to stay in Type 7s most likely as long as possible. That may involve transferring to another flotilla uh, once the bases in France become available, but we will see. Uh, not too much apart from that, but... If anyone has any ideas, I'd certainly be welcoming to that. So before I uh, say anything else, I suppose, we should get underway. Our patrol area will be AN-13, so we'll have a look at the map uh, once we're underway. But since this is GWX, you don't technically have to go to your grid. You don't get any renown for it or anything. So that's the situation. I will see you at our dock in Wilhelmshaven. All right, welcome aboard. Uh, since we're starting at night, I'm going to postpone my mod overview because a lot of them have to do with... Uh, a lot of the mods I've added have to do with exterior visuals. So at this time, we're just going to get underway. And plot ourselves a course out of Wilhelmshaven. And if we take a look, we have a map uh, because this port is mined. So we can show kind of what we're dealing with here. So we have minefields and nets sort of running up the side. So as long as we keep to the center of the channel, we should be fine. And from there, we'll take our course out past Helgeland. Uh I don't think we'll be going through the channel at this time, especially since our designated patrol grid is AN-13, which is actually in the North Sea. Actually, it's not. It's just up the northern uh, coast of Scotland here. And very close to Scapa Flow, which is interesting. Uh, what do they intend to have us encounter up there? Aha, the Arctic convoys, which don't start until 41. Well, that's a bit silly, but there's probably still some pretty heavy shipping traffic up there. My plan mostly has been to patrol sort of up here, which is where a lot of the incoming convoys are going to be. Since we spent a great deal of time in port, the day is now October 19th, 1939. So the convoys are well underway and there's plenty of wartime shipping traffic to be had. So all coming across the Atlantic and everything. So I may end up going to this grid eventually, but most likely not. My plan is to patrol mostly this area up here since it has deep water and there's plenty of shipping to be had. So that's basically the plan. I'll be plotting a course and waiting for daylight, and then I'll uh, show you the boat in its new and refined form with the mods that I've added.
Well, there it is. My uh, same boat, but with its new Mr. Big Shot fancy pants stuff on. So now is as good a time as any to run through the mods, uh, which I've installed. In fact, I will just actually run through the complete list and what they all do. And the list will also be in the description. So we've got Thompson Sound Pack for the alarm and so on. We have a h n e r no a h n e n e r b e y g u i nineteen twenty by ten eighty final, which gives us this lovely widescreen. Uh, both of these we've had in the previous patrol. We have M E P or Manus Environment Pro version six. And we've added something to that, but I'll get to that because I'm naming these mods in order. We have the TKSS-18 German U-Boats compilation, and which we also already had. But here's something new. We have the new U-Boat guns fixed and reworked for the U-Boats compilation, which both gussies up the guns and kind of makes them work properly, especially in terms of the flat gun, which you'll notice didn't quite shoot straight in the last patrol. So that's helpful. And then on top of that, we have German U-Boats compilation version 2, which gussies even further the Type 7B and Type 7C boats. As you can see, this looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, I mean, I think this looks even better than Silent Hunter 5, but that might just be my opinion. And moving on, we have... I've installed the 7B... 1940 uh, conning tower, just like we had before, which is slightly anachronistic for this point in the war. It would most likely uh, have had the smaller platform that just sort of closes off like that, and then the flat gun sitting on the rear deck here. But I like this tower better, so I've made a small concession to realism for the sake of that, I suppose. And then we have the Fix All Subs GWX mod on top of all of those, which just, uh, I don't know, dots the I's and crosses the T's. I don't know exactly what it does, but it stops things from messing up. And then we have the skin called the Rusty Light Blue for the 7B U-Boat, uh, which is, so the skin I have right now that sort of does the light blue finish on the upper part of the boat. Uh, which I think is very nice, and some somewhat rusted weathering since our boat isn't completely new. I don't exactly I don't know exactly when U forty six was built. Perhaps I should do additional research. But anyway, and then we have MEP version six uh, visual sensors, which we didn't have before, and that should fix the problem where we don't see things until they're really really close, which sort of plagued us in the last patrol. And then we have the supplement to version one six. B1, uh, which adds all of the uh, hard-coded fixes. So those are the mods, which will be listed in the description, and I do highly recommend them all, otherwise I wouldn't be using them really, I suppose. And uh, a few features to run through. Uh, this was also the case with the original version of the U-Boats compilation, but there are a few things we can do. Uh, with some key commands that have been added. So one of them is we can add and remove the flag from the rear of the conning tower with uh, shift F to turn it on, control F to turn it off. We can add the Uzo up here with shift and or control N uh, because obviously they would take it below decks when they dive and they probably wouldn't even bring it up unless they were gonna use it in case they needed to crash dive quickly. We have the Direction Finder Antenna, which comes up with Shift V, retracts with Control V. I'll actually leave. Actually, no, I won't. It's kind of in the way. And once we are in the control room, we can raise and lower the observation scope with Shift and or Control O. And there it goes. And then we can retract that again and down it goes so those are the mods i've added hopefully it will be enhancing both my enjoyment and yours of this patrol i have plotted us a course uh, i'm going to be heading off to the northwest of ireland it seems like good hunting grounds because it's where all the convoys start to join in and head towards liverpool 
So it just really seems like the place to be at this point in the war. As much as I'd love to go to AN-13, it's kind of dangerous and it stinks, so I'm not going to. I might do it at some point, but I think, uh, I don't know, I think a raid on Scrap of Flow might be a little bit uh, much, even though we're at about the same point in the war as uh, Preen's raid. I know that was in October of 39, I don't know exactly when it was, it might already have happened. But we shall see. The only other item of note is that we received a radio message shortly after we sailed. Uh, dated 1939, October 19th. The area in which darkened ships may be attacked is extended to 20 degrees west. Ships are not to be boarded for examination. They may be stopped by gunfire. And their papers examined, but must be sunk only with torpedoes. You boats are not to engage in gun actions with merchant ships. So that's the thing. We're not supposed to uh, engage merchant ships with guns. And for the sake of keeping things interesting, that's an order I'm actually considering following. I have a few things I kind of want to try on this patrol. One of them, actually, is a surfaced convoy attack. Because I've been reading the GWX manual on the recommended practices for doing that, and I think I can pull it off. So if we get good conditions to conduct a surface convoy attack, I will take a crack at it, but we'll see. Alas, another radio message that's sort of interesting from BDU, dated 1939, October 20th. The torpedo directorate has confessed to another defect. Torpedoes are running deeper than set by 6.5 feet, which would be about 2 meters. Please deduct this amount from the usual settings for impact firing. Ships with drawings less than 13 feet are no longer to be considered valid targets. So, since we're using impact pistols anyway, we'll be shedding, setting, ech, setting our torpedoes pretty shallow, but this is definitely worth keeping in mind for some of the shallower draft ships, like things like the Granville Freighters, for example. So, yet another item to be keeping in mind. Wait a minute, what is... I saw a thing up here. Oh no, it was on the... Oh! Interesting. Map of the world using the grid system. How lovely! Uh, we're, we're gonna carry on. One fleet on first at hand's command Rolls from out the azure main Rolls out, rolls out, rolls from out the azure main This was the charter, the charter of the land And guardian angels sang this train Rule Britannia, Britannia rule the waves Britons never will be slaves. Why is this on the gramophone on my boat? I mean, the more reasonable question would be why I'm singing along, but, you know, rule Britannia on a ship of war of the Third Reich in the Battle of the Atlantic. Really? I mean, we, we seem to have a lot of British songs on board, actually. Perhaps I'll sing along to all of them over the course of this career, but uh, the... The, the, the point of note at this time is that I'm kind of bored. We haven't got gotten that far along. We haven't even received any particularly riveting radio messages. Although we got one from a ship that hit a mine, or so it says. It may very well have hit a torpedo, but I... This, this, this... This isn't worth airing. 